world. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that loyalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? I want to goddamn hear your league. So, we about to get into another old video. Um, This is a video with Tay and Lou. Uh, they had just broke up or was about to break up or whatever. Um, And I just want to, you know, react to it. I like to go in the archives for those that don't know. Just to talk about, you know, things that I've went through and, you know, how I overcame it and shit like that. Them burgers look like they bust. But anyway, yeah. Dang, gang, it's Tay. And Lou. It's Tay. And Lou. What up? Dang, dang. Gang, gang. Dang, dang. Gang, gang. Dang, dang. Gang, gang. What are we eating, baby? Rainbow burgers from the Sugar Factory because it's pride. Happy pride, y'all. Happy pride. Y'all know we part of the community. So anybody that's part of the community or any allies in the building, we want to say happy pride to us all. Now, did you think we would be doing another mukbang together ever? <laughs> no, this no, I didn't think we'd be here. This is quite, you know, a surprise. Well, not you know. Yeah, I guess we'll get all okay. We'll get all into this. This is a little nerve wracking for us, y'all. We're not gonna lie. Um, I too did not think we would do another mukbang together. And before we get into the reason why, because I know a lot of you guys are wondering, like, where are where were we or what happened? Uh, I'd rather get into the question of why we returned first. We will answer all the questions that you may or may not have, but I'd rather talk about why we returned first. All right, y'all, I ain't going front while I was waiting for Lou to use the bathroom. I ended up eating some burgers, but I'm going to pretend this is my first burger. This is, in fact, her first burger. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Long story short, a lot of times when YouTube couples- Damn, how many burgers did she eat? One, two, three, four, five. Damn. Burgers, but I'ma pretend this is my first burger. This she is in fact her first burger. Old. But yeah. Uh, long story short, a lot of times when YouTube couples break up, right? They usually disappear. They usually have a whole bunch of videos, right? And then suddenly, the videos start to dwindle and then they disappear. And then when they come back, they're just no longer together, right? They're just no longer together. Or, you know, sometimes there's beef. Sometimes they be beefing online. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just like they didn't know each other at all. <laughs> That's how they are right now. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Which is probably what we would have did if we, was, if we were a little bit younger. <laughs> I ain't going for it. We would just act like we didn't know each other. Literally never existed. <laughs> never even happened. Mm -hmm. But... Mm. Mmm, you think it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. But I want one. Hold on, someone too. But for Lou and I, we felt like it was important to come back to YouTube, not because our relationship is perfect, but because it's not perfect. And there's no example that I can readily think of when it comes to YouTube couples that people have grown to love that actually decides to let people in before they decide whether they want to stay together or break up, which is the unfortunate place that Lou and I are currently in. We have no clue what is happening between us. And I only reiterate that we have no clue is because that means if we don't have no clue, there ain't no way y'all gonna have a clue. We are figuring this out as we speak right now. And we are deciding to be vulnerable enough to open it up to you guys. Yeah, we've definitely hit a rough patch. However, I think it'll be much healthier for all parties. Us, priority wise, us, but also for you guys as well, because maybe someone can identify with it. Maybe someone was going through the same thing. And that's why we did it. And a lot of people actually were going through the same thing. And, uh, we opened people's eyes to a lot of shit, you know, and so did so did y'all, you know. We've always been real. Tay and Lou, we, that's what we are. So we're not going to stop now. So mm -hmm. this is what it's given. Right. 
a lot of the times, and we've been transparent about this before, a lot of the times that we've taken breaks from YouTube before, it's been because we we've, we've hit, you know, rough patches. And we were able to round it up together and, and um get our relationship together. Yeah. This rough patch is a little bit rougher. Yeah, it's definitely a different rough patch you got. It seems a little bit different. And we're at a place right now where we're in a good space talking wise. But it doesn't mean our relationship is in a good space. Mm. So we're in a good working space. Mm -hmm. We're in a in a good having, you know, a good time together space. However, it doesn't mean our relationship is fixed. So while we explore whether we can fix our relationship or not, we felt like that would be valuable content for you guys, along with the eating, along with the games, along with all the things we used to do. However, we want to add that extra component to our channel, that extra layer of realness to our channel. You got to keep it hot. You got to. That's what she's trying to say, and I get it. <laughs> that, again, will make it more relatable to you guys so you guys know, like, we ain't perfect and we're not pretending to be perfect. That's the only thing we never pretended and to we be. we yelled that for, throughout these five years. Yeah. We're not perfect. <laughs> right. So that is why we return to YouTube. I think me and you can both agree that what happened in a grand sense or scale of things is that after five years of working together and being together and 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 living together and it's being a nonstop situation, nonstop. like never, never being without another like. Like yeah. almost only to the point where only probably when we use the bathroom, it would probably be a problem. Yeah. And I think we can only count on one hand how many times we've been apart throughout these five years. Right. So yeah, nah, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. With that being said, you gotta have space. Like after after me and TT had our whole situation, the room became, you know, my domain as far as working and um well, just working in general. And just trying to find that peace. We both the same sign. So when you both the same sign, like you get that bad side of the sign and you get that good side of the sign. And one thing about Leo is we need our space, but we need our space and we still want you to be right there. Right. So I let me stay in the room and just do me. She has a section in the house where she do her and we meet each other in between when in between what we doing. You know what I'm saying? And that actually worked for us because it was, I need a space real bad. Um, you know, she's a, she's a mom who had, you know, the children and shit like that, which is the weirdest thing to say. That's why it comes out weird. I can't help it. But, uh, after, not after, since she had the children, noise don't bother her. Uh, she don't be hearing nothing with them girls unless something is really wrong, you know, and I hear everything, you know, and for me, it was just like, I didn't, I didn't feel like I had any space at all. Uh, but as a mother, you can't have space. You get what I'm saying? The dad might get some space, but the mama ain't getting no space. Mama can't get no space. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we ended up moving offices and things like that which is way better now like we have no issues here with with that you know what i'm saying and you have to have conversations like those you gotta like move shit around you know what i'm saying you gotta make sure peace is had you know because without peace up here and your own damn mind you're not ever gonna get peace from your partner it's no way in hell <laughs> you know what i'm saying so they that's a huge issue we definitely lost a sense of our individuality and being the people that we were before we got together our individuality was everything was everything <laughs> like that's um uh... don't get emotional man. don't get emotional but it was it was a sense of everything yeah okay that's bad like she for you to get emotional about space that's cr that means you really need space that's um uh... Don't get emotional, man. Don't get emotional. But it was. It was a sense of everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just imagine looking up five years later and there's so much to be proud of as far as Tay and Lou is concerned. Like it's 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 beautiful. However, there's nothing that's accomplished on an individual level for Tay, for Lou. 
And that, you guys, that just, it won't do. It won't do. And it couldn't do. YouTube is not Lou's thing. And that's what I figured out with TT. Not that it ain't her thing to do it with me. It's not her thing to do it alone, no. She wanted to do something else. She's into body care and um, anything dealing with the body, she is into it, okay? And you have to do something on a day-to-day -day basis to feed your soul, you know what I'm saying? YouTube feeds my soul. I can do this shit all day. She can't. So I feel like YouTube couples try to force that shit, and you can't, you know? Like, she down if I'm down to do something. You know what I'm saying? But TT won't be the first to be like, yeah, I want to do. That's not her thing. And that's something that, that I also had to realize with our last conversation. She's telling me it's her thing, but she just wants to please me. And she thinks it's her thing to you introduce her to something else. And I told her, like, baby, you need to just get into your beauty thing. That's you. That's what you want to do. You love that shit. You know what I'm saying? Get some fucking body butters going, some scrubs, some lip scrubs, some lotion. Get some shit going that you love. And, y'all, she is so good at it. Like, she is so, so, so good at it. We will never, ever, ever have to have another discussion on what is it that you want to do work-wise. I know. I know for a fact. She know what I want to do, but now I really know what she want to do. So now we don't have that, that sense of, like, we just trying to figure it out. We don't have that. You know, she got what she want to do. I got what I want to do. If I want to throw in every once in a while, she'll be with the shits. And, and not that, uh, not every once in a while, like we don't have a couple's channel. Not saying she won't do that shit every day. What I'm saying is she ain't going to be the first to do it. She want to handle her business first. Then, you know, YouTube comes after that. And, and I completely understand. And I think that. beyond just losing a sense of individuality, we were also both struggling with personal things mm -hmm. that we had to come to the realization of. I'm, I've definitely been open about what my struggles were um, through my live streaming, which I'll talk about and when we talk about where we are now. Mm -hmm. um, but in regards to me, what had happened was I was looking at myself in these videos. I was looking at myself like next to Lou. I was looking at older videos of what I used to look like, what I'm used to myself looking like. And I saw what I had become when I moved you know, to Delaware and had a drastic change and decrease in activity and a drastic uptake. It was absolutely depressing for her to move to Delaware. That was a huge mistake, huge mistake. And she was depressed, period. In food and, and I think she still is. Honestly, not for mukbanging because the majority of the food that I ate was not during the mukbangs. If you Facts, y'all tap into touchbycandy.com. Get you a damn body butter right now. Ain't number $15. Tap in. Really look at our videos when I started to gain weight. We weren't even mukbanging that much. It was what I was eating when I was at 12 o'clock at night, ordering three orders of fast food and tearing all of them things down. I wasn't I wasn't even sharing the meals that I was eating with y'all to gain weight, honestly, and I feel bad for that. However, in all of that weight that I gained, I just felt so ugly. I felt so ugly. I felt so ugly. And... um. I had to do something about that. Yeah. <clears throat> and as far as me, um, where I'm concerned, um, I just lost all motivation and commitment for my own personal career as far as my cooking is concerned. Um, I have a whole library pretty much of cooking books, instructional books, inspirational things that I could just, that right now I could, it could be in my head, but it's not because I literally just kept tossing it to the side. YouTube, Tan Lu, YouTube, Tan Lu not what I needed for myself, which is cooking. It's me and it's what makes me happy. And I stopped cooking. I just even stopped cooking. Yeah, she did. Trust me, I suffer. <laughs> She's trying to make a little light of it. Damn, y'all know I ain't gonna change. Anyway, um, so with all of that happening, uh, we started to develop a sense of resentment for one another. Absolutely. Our chemistry started to dwindle. And although I can honestly say, I think that we're still attracted to one another. I don't want to speak for you. <laughs> you got green stuff, right? Here. I figured I knew I had green stuff. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I knew it. Did you see she said she wasn't attracted to her? I mean, she didn't say I'm not attracted to you, but she damn sure didn't say I'm still attracted to you. Y'all, 
Did you get it out? Mm hmm. I you know want... that's why she stopped eating the burgers because she felt like green stuff was in her teeth. Answer the question at hand. Oh, right. okay, we're back. Okay, yes. I definitely will agree that we're both definitely still attracted to each other. Exactly. I feel the same way. That's exactly how I felt because she did not answer the question. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm, just I just, messing, I'm just messing with her. Y'all just That just never was the issue, though. Yes. Like, it's, so. not, it's not an issue of attraction. No. It's an issue of... A bond that has been severed, okay? But it's not broken. We are hopeful, but yet we're realistic right now. And um, we'll explore more about where we are. So in the time that we've been apart from YouTube, we've also kind of taken some time to ourselves. Mm -hmm. We do still live together. Mm -hmm. We do still function together, but we've definitely started to learn to function more independently yes. and on a grand scale, honestly. And um, I think that that's actually important for us right now. Hell yeah, it was really important for me and honey shops. And we did it and it's better. And she just walked in the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, in- I want some of these burgers, I ain't gonna lie. Functioning in independently, I think that now we finally can return to YouTube because it's something that it's one of the things we could do together. We don't have to do everything Think together. It's an option. Right. Like, it doesn't have to be. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, um. Also, YouTube does not drive Lou. And that couple shit to make money. She ain't feeling that shit. Hell no. She wanted to make her own money. She wanted to do her own thing. Um, and I feel like she would have been such a better partner if she was able to do that. Along with those lines, while I, while we were away, I was away actually doing two things. One, I lost 30 pounds, which makes me feel really good. I feel much healthier now. I uh, will definitely talk about how I lost the, the weight. I lost it through dieting. Um, and... I'll talk about that in the next video if anybody's curious how I did it in three months. Because I know that's kind of fast for that amount of weight loss, especially for a person that wasn't, you know, I wasn't sick. I wasn't, I wasn't like, watch out what I mean. I wasn't like that. But also, during that time, I found the love I have for live streaming. So I've been, you know, really trying to conquer TikTok. <laughs> I know y'all feel like, you know, damn, she just left me for TikTok. I didn't leave y'all for TikTok. I tried to offer you guys another way to see me while Lou and I were unable to do this together. Yeah. And in doing that, I found out that I was actually really good at it, which was really weird to me because I'm such an anxious person. I would think I and she needed to make some money. I would have trouble doing that, but it actually helped me get rid of a lot of my anxiety. It helped me with socialization with people, talking to strangers and like, you know, matching with strangers. And since then, I've... uh. I've ranked, I'm currently ranked right now in the top USA. Yeah. Maybe like by the time I drop this video, it'll probably be like in the 50s or 60s because I'm doing this. <laughs> but just to know that I can, you know, do something outside of Lou, still root for Lou and she's still root for me, but have something that I accomplished on my own was super important for me. And to know that I could reach that height um, of being the top in the USA it, that made me very happy. So that's what I've been doing since I've been gone. I'm gonna let Lou let let I'm gonna let Lou let you guys know what she's been doing. Um, I've pretty much just been studying you guys. Um, food is what I want to do, and in this time, um, I pretty much found a home for my recipes. Um, everything that you guys been asking me for for years, um, it has a place, and it's on Patreon. Um, I've released it um, maybe a month ago, um, and the next release of more recipes is coming in a few days. So I'm a little anxious about that, but I'm very proud of it. Um, I know for me personally, it's going to take a lot of determination and work. Um, however, I'm willing to make this my baby and take it as slow as it'll go and I'll, I'll stand by it. So yeah, I released a Patreon with all my recipes and such, such and that's what I've been focused on. So yeah, so in a sense, we've actually been trying to accomplish our individual goals since we worked so hard on our togetherness goals. And in accomplishing those individual goals, we kind of realized how much we miss doing this together. And um, 
How much we missed you guys. Yeah, 100%. we missed you guys a whole lot. We see y'all. Yes, a lot of you guys have come with us to TikTok Lou. Also live streams on TikTok. Um, um, and um, we've seen a lot of you guys, but a lot of you guys are still wondering where we are. And uh, so now we are back. And what you guys will get from this channel, like I said before, is more of the realistic journey of what it's going to be. Lou and I are not in a place anymore of anger which is what we had to get over mm -hmm. in order to be able to present this to you because we're yeah. willing to be vulnerable, but not that vulnerable. We're not trying to no. sell our pain to you guys. What we're trying to do is show you guys- Everybody you know, is saying in the comments that it looks like Lou's heart is broken. Lou looks so hurt. I can feel her pain. She looks as if her heart has been broken. I feel Tay talked for Lou. She made it about herself while Lou was trying so hard to hold it together. Lou is so humble and genuine. I feel she's doing it to make Tay happy. Tay's happiness is more than hers. This is her husband. I don't know why I started crying. Lou needs her own cousin show on YouTube. Facts. I'm so happy that you both are back and have accomplished what you did. You guys are awesome. Uh, not somebody named two puppies after them. That's just crazy as hell. Oh, I love you so much, Lou. I can see the hurt and pain in your face. And honest, hope this gets better for you. That's terrible. Because they ain't see no pain in, in Tay's face. <laughs> but yeah, she looks, she was miserable. That's probably why she's so happy now. There comes a time in a lot of relationships where you're just not sure. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people will force something where it's not or we'll let something go too early. And instead of doing either one, we're actually taking the time to work through it. And we're just letting you guys in because we have nothing to lose <laughs> in, in doing that. It's just, it's our truth. And the easiest yeah. content for us right now is the truth. <laughs> yeah. So this is where we are. We didn't really eat. And I figured that's what was gonna happen. Yeah, my nerves got to me. I'm so sorry. I was so hungry before we started this. And honestly, for me, it's because I was waiting for her to use the bathroom and I ain't. I ain't, I ain't the burgers already. And I don't have that much space anymore, y'all. So <laughs> when it comes- half of a burger, y'all. She can't <laughs> eat. <laughs> I, when it comes to the mukbangs, y'all, the presentation will always be grand. But just like before, um, a lot of this food goes to other people when we're done, or we put it in the refrigerator for times where we can't eat it and pick on it at different times. But it's not just going to be mukbangs. And that's the last thing I want to tell you guys. Please repeat that, please. It's not just going to be mukbangs anymore because- I don't want, I don't, my life is one, not centered around food anymore. It's centered around living. Part of living for me is food, but I want to show you guys other parts of our life. There will be lots of mukbang. Let me make that clear. One, one, one in the chat. That's another problem with, uh, with this. Like you get caught up in the shit that you're doing. You get caught up in what gets you, you know, the, the views because of the algorithm. It's fucked up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. This is still a mukbang channel. I recognize that. However... There's so much more you can like, do with- nigga, I don't want to eat food like that no more. At some point, you get tired of food. <laughs> food. Except uh, Nico Avocado. Just sitting and eating it right yeah. here. Right and here. that's what I would like to explore with you guys and with Lou. And uh, hopefully see where that goes. So to end off the video, I just want to tell you guys that I love you. And I love her. And- uh, I love you too. Yeah, I know. I know she loves me, y'all. It's not about that. It's about just going on this journey together. You just never really know. And I'm sick um, of food too. Like I don't want no meat today for some reason. Uh, just... When we know, y'all yeah. will know. <laughs> but y'all can't know. I'm gonna say it one more time because we don't know. We don't know. But we'll see. Peace. Mm, 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 mm. They was going. I'm, I'm, I hope that they just keep that shit the fuck done, okay? Because they were not happy. Ugh. Ugh. Well, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.